All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Ovens Garage. Uh, today I just wanted to talk to you guys about the onboard computer systems and these old first gens. Uh, a lot of guys don't really realize that, you know, these old trucks do have computers in them. Uh, but the computers themselves, they don't actually control very much. You know, you can, you can start the engine with just the starter and the engine will run all by itself. Uh, but there's a number of things, you know, pre pre-starting the engine and post-starting the engine that the computer controls, such as like charging as well as your grid, grid heaters, um, which, you know, when a computer starts to give you, give you some problems in these trucks, they start to show signs um, in various places like, like charging is not really working or your grid heaters aren't really working properly um, and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, once those issues start to poke their heads out, uh, you know, it, it gives, it gives us some problems and, you know, you got to, you gotta be able to figure it out, figure out what the what the issue is somehow. So, um, what some guys don't realize also is there's actually onboard diagnostics on these trucks. Um, you can actually figure out uh, trouble codes and then refer to a table, which I'll show you shortly. Uh, that'll give you um, different fault codes. Um, there's two ways to see them. So one of them is to use a DRB2 uh, scan tool, which I guess some uh, some mechanics might have had them, or dealerships probably had them uh, w when when they did service work work to these trucks. But another easy way to check, which anyone can check, is by cycling the key. So I'll I'll show you how to do the uh, the cycling of the key, and then I'll show you the the all the how to read them um, using your check engine light, and then uh, I'll show you the table for the fault codes. So I'll show you guys too um, up on the screen here in a second of what the engine controller actually has for inputs and outputs. So uh, the computer actually uses inputs from various sources. So um, the AC switch, the ASD relay, the battery voltage, the brake light switch, the charger temperature sensor, uh, the coolant temp sensor, the engine speed sensor. So that's your, crank, or your crankshaft position sensor, um, your ignition, your overdrive switch, your park neutral switch, uh, your power ground. Um, your SCI receive, so that's where your, your DRB scan tool, um, sensor return, signal ground, speed control switch, so your cruise control, and then your throttle position sensor. Um, oh, sorry, there's more transmission thermo switch, uh, vehicle speed sensor, and water and fuel sensor. So those are all the inputs that go into the computer. And then, you know, the computer does its thing. It's got like a pre-programmed, uh, pre um, you know, program in it, and then uh, it'll give you certain outputs. So uh, the output of the computer actually controls the AC compressor clutch relay. So if your computer is not working, your AC uh, clutch relay won't, won't engage your work. Um, your air intake heater relays, so your grid heaters. Um, your alternator field control, so you could have charging issues if, you're, if there's something wrong with your computer. Your ASD relay, so your automatic shutdown uh, relay. Uh, your check engine uh, indicator lamp, your overdrive indicator lamp. Uh, your overdrive solenoid, so you're, you could have overdrive problems. Your SCI transmit, that's for your DRB uh, scan tool. Speed control, so your, your cruise control. And your TAC, um, as well as your water and fuel lamp and your weight to, to start indicator lamps. So if you're having issues with any of those outputs um, and multiple of those outputs, it's actually a pretty good sign that there's something wrong with, with your computer. Um, so you might have to address those problems. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to just take a look at those uh, diagnostic codes and hopefully that'll lead you, you know, to a good route to be able to solve uh, any issues that you're having with your truck. All right. So in order to, to, to figure out uh, what your fault codes are on, on your truck, so you're going to take your ignition key and you're going to cycle it uh, from the off position. You're going to go on, off, on, off, and then on. And then your indicators will flash on your dash using the check engine light. And it'll go like, you know, three in a row, then one in a row. And then that'll be the code three, one, or it'll go, let's say for code one, five, it'll be one in a row. It'll take a short pause and then it'll do five flashes in a row. And so if you've got multiple codes stored uh, into the controller, it'll give you each one and then you'll have a long pause and then it'll do the next one. You'll have a long pause and then it'll do the next one. So just from the factory service manual here, yet yeah, uh, if the problem is repaired or ceases to exist, the engine, engine controller cancels the fault after 51 engine starts. So if you've repaired the problem and the computer recognizes it, it'll take 51 cycles before that code will uh, automatically clear itself. So you, you don't have to clear it using a, a special tool. It'll automatically go away um, if you've resolved the problem or if the computer's recognized that the problem is gone. All right, so I'm just out at Old Blue here. So from the key off, 
Uh, here's here's the way to find the codes. So on, off, on, off, on. And look at my check engine light. And I'll start counting. So one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I got 12 and 33. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so that's it. So I got 12, 33, and 55. So we'll correspond, uh, we'll go to the chart and see if that corresponds with anything. Um, but first we'll go check the red truck and see what it says. All right, and uh, I'm in the red truck now, so I'll give you a little bit of a hint that, yes, I'm having problems with my computer in the red truck, um, and here I'll show you why. So on, off, on, off, on. And my check engine light didn't cycle at all. And I'll give you a hint here. My grid heater and my water and fuel light are not even turning on at all, which those two are controlled by the PCM when you're in the startup procedure. So I've got issues with this one. All right, so in old blue, I had uh, fault codes 12, 33, and 55. So according to my 92 service manual, uh, 12 and 55 don't correspond to anything. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research and see if I can find anything and then uh, post it up in the video uh, to see if there's a fault code that actually corresponds with those. Or maybe I was reading them wrong, but I don't think I was. So fault code 33, however, is AC clutch relay circuit. It says an open or shorted condition detected in the AC clutch relay circuit. So, which makes sense because in that truck right now, the AC doesn't work. So I'm hoping that uh, maybe there's just something wrong in that circuit that I can kind of diagnose. But it does tell me that, yeah, there, you know, my computer's telling me that, that there's something wrong with the AC clutch relay circuit. So... Uh, that gives me something to tackle at least in that direction for the other codes. Yeah, I'll post them up in the video and See if they actually correspond to anything. So with the red truck though, however um, If you saw me cycle the key there and I didn't actually get any fault codes With the the startup procedure in that truck the weight to start and the water and fuel light are supposed to come on as a, a You know a condition of this the startup procedure. So for the the factory bulb check they don't actually come on, so that's a sign in itself that there's something wrong with the computer. And I didn't get any sort of fault codes at all, um, which which tells me that there's something wrong with the computer itself because I I should get some some fault code. Um, you know, there's there's not bound to be no fault codes. There should be there should be something. So um, that does tell me that there's there's an issue with that uh, with that computer in the red truck. So what I'll do is. This will this this will be my precursor video to that one. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to swap out the PCMs in the first gen. Um, I'll swap out the PCM from my blue truck to the red truck, and we'll see if it solves the problem in my red truck. And then that'll tell me that that it's the PCM. And then hopefully, I can diagnose what's the issue inside of the PCM and replace uh, whatever broken piece is inside of it. Cheers! Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more.